Hey everyone, this is Christina. Welcome back to my floss tube channel. This is my uh, spot where I talk about all of my cross stitch stuff. So today is May 1st and this is episode 18. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the the last two about the last two weeks of April what I finished working on whether I met my goals and then we're going to talk about uh mania plans and what my goals are for May so today I actually have three finishes which I don't normally have that much so that's kind of crazy for me but um I will show you them I'm going to kind of show you in chronological order of what I worked on for the past two weeks so you'll see the finishes as they come up um so I've had I had three finishes. I worked on four whips and I have a restart. Okay, so let's get into it. Um first up, which I think you guys were expecting, is my Christmas bell sampler finish. Um I showed this on my last video and I only had 400 and something stitches left and I was pretty confident that I would be able to finish that after I had filmed my video that night so I did um and this is the finish so um I ended up it was basically down in this the words down in this corner that I was finishing and I talked to you about this before but you can there's a little bit more variegation in this side I think I'm gonna leave it for now I'll kind of think on it and see but I had some really good suggestions and comments from the last video on what I could do to try and like even it out a bit so thank you so much for commenting and letting me know I'm gonna tr maybe try some of that but I'm gonna think on it for now see if I want to try it so this pattern is from heartstring samplery um, and I stitched it on a 36 count Edinburgh linen in flax. This is two over two. Um, I did a DMC conversion. If you want to know what it is just leave me a comment and I'll, uh, I'll look it up for you. And the lettering is in General Arts Bankers Gray. So 436 stitches got me to a finish on this one. Also, just uh, if I sound congested, I'm just getting over a cold, so I am a little bit congested right now. So my voice is a little bit off. Um, so then I did, I mentioned like when I filmed last, it was a Friday and normally I do full coverage Fridays, but I really wanted to get the Country Bell Sampler finished. So I ended up um, switching out my full coverage day. So I did full coverage on Saturday instead. So. On Saturday, I pulled out my full coverage, Country Roads. Uh, it's actually called Country Roads Take Me Home. It's charted by Artisy and the artwork is by Chuck Pinson. So I'm gonna put a picture in of what the finished piece will look like. And then of what where I was last time. And so this is where I'm at now. Let me fold it, hold on. There we go. So that's where I am right now. And you can kind of see like, I'm really liking that you can see like a little, the sky is here and then this is like a hill or a mountain in the background. Um, I'm kind of filling in from here. Basically what I'm, how I'm working on this one is that I'm taking a color, whatever color appears next here. And then I'm working the thread all the way and then I'm grabbing whatever is next. So I've done like, I filled in most of this. There's like one there that that would probably be what I would grab next, but I, I think I didn't have that color, so I had to move on to a different color. But anyways, I put in 1,132 stitches in this. Um, and so it's sitting at 1.22% complete. Okay, next up was another whip. And this is the one I've shown you showed you every month. It's Beyond Venue by Long Dog Samplers. And it's the birth sampler that I'm working on for my daughter. Uh, with the goal tab it finished by um June in June by her first birthday. So uh I had already finished my goal, which my goal is 2,700 stitches a month on this. I'd already finished that goal and I was doing uh continuing with my daily 100. So this is where I got to now. Oh, Actually, I'll show you a picture of what the finished piece will look like 
and then what it looked like the last time you saw it. And then this is where I am now. So I continue to work down in, see, down in this corner. I got this rose in and then I started working on this last big motif. So it's one last big motif and then a bunch of like smaller motifs in the lettering. And that's all I have left on this piece. So I did another 339 stitches on this and I'm sitting at 78.39% complete. This is a 32 count Belfast linen um, in the color Moon Dust, and I'm using Threadworks 1041 for the thread. So that's where we are. Okay, so next I pulled out my Heaven and Earth Designs Stitch Along for 2024. Um, this is... I have been trying to finish each part before the next part comes out. So I've divided the amount of stitches in that part by three months, which is the length of time in between when the parts come out. So the goal on this one is 5,600 stitches a month. I did not meet that in April. So I ended up doing 3,096 stitches. Um, so I need about 2,600 stitches more to hit the goal. I'm going to kind of try and catch up on that in May, possibly. Uh, we'll see. But anyways, this is uh, what the finished piece will look like. And then this is where I was last time. And then this is where I am now on this. Ugh, fold. So I started working. I actually ended up doing this is the end of the piece now. So before there was a small, there was like a probably 15 column space there that um, had, was the fourth page. So there was one, two, three pages and there was like a tiny strip here on the fourth page. So that was the fourth page I finished. And then I did started working down here. So getting in like the dark colors here and that's brought me up to 65.97 percent complete of part two then i have my next finish so finish number two for the month was my may design so under my design name St sweet violet stitch co um, I've been doing a monthly series of houses and I started March and I've done March and April and now uh, I am releasing May today. So this is the finished piece for May. It's called Tulip House. Um, in total, there's 1,643 stitches and there is, uh, I think, seven eight colors all dmc colors so eight dmc colors in this but that is um tulip house and it's on a all of them have been on the same fabric so it's a 36 count edinburgh linen in flax but i will leave the link below to my etsy shop if you're interested in this or any of my other patterns um you can go take a look there uh but yeah, this is available now. So next up was a restart. So I mentioned back in February when I was doing full coverage February, I mentioned that I was restarting a bunch of my full coverage pieces um, to start on gridded fabric and doing 10 stitch because that's just the way I prefer to work on them. So. I had been spinning my wheel in February um, and if it was pulled I was restarting it so I this one never got pulled so it didn't get restarted until now but this past Friday I decided to restart it yeah April 28th I decided to restart it so the piece is called trimming the tree it's charted by heaven and earth designs and it is um, artwork by Terry Redlin so I'm gonna show you a picture this is what the finished piece will look like and then there's no before piece because I'm restarting it. So um, this is where I am right now. It's just a small start, working in some blue and black there, dark colors again. Um, 
I did 681 stitches on this. This is a 28 count gridded fabric that I use. I do two over one tenth stitch. And this is sitting at 0.24% complete. Okay, and then that brings us to my third finish for the month. So since I was planning to do Mania and I'm planning to do 31 new starts in May, I wanted to try and get some finishes pushed out um, of anything that was like close to a finish. So this next one was needed 1300 stitches to get to a finish. So I ended up pulling it out and this one is called Blackbird Singing by Tiny Modernist. I'll show you a picture of where it was the last time you saw it. And uh, there is my finish on it. So this is, um, I did 1,335 stitches to get the finish on this. And then I had to do um, some of the back stitching, the words on the bottom half and the backstitching around the windows of the house. So this ended up at, uh, I finished it on April 29th. I had started it on February 22nd, 2024, finished it on April 29th, 2024. It was a total of five stitching days. And um, this is a 36 count Edinburgh linen in flax. Um, there's one bead that I put in. In the original uh, pattern, this is a bead and this is a bead, but because I went to a 36 count and I can't remember what count is in the fabric, but I went to a smaller count, the original beads that they recommended wouldn't fit on mine. So I was able to find a smaller moon, so I put that in, but I wasn't able to find a smaller bird. The pattern has them charted anyway, so you can just chart them. I mean, you could just stitch them because they're charted in the pattern too, if you want to. So that was all I did. I stitched the bird and I put the moon in. Um, yeah, uh, 36 count Edinburgh linen in flax. So that is my finish on that. And then I have, this is the pattern here. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but there's Blackbird Singing by Tiny Modernist. Um, and since I'm now done with this, I'm going to be giving away this pattern. If there's anybody that is interested in it, um, I'll be doing a giveaway. So you just need to leave a comment below with the word Blackbird in it. Um, and just the usual rules, like you must, you have to be 18 because you have to be able to give me your address. And uh, please be a subscriber. Um, I'm not going to be checking, but it's, you know, just based on the honor system. Um, and please don't say any of those like spam words like giveaway, free, win, anything like that because we don't want the bots coming in. Um, this is my copy of the pattern so I have used it but it's not, I didn't write in it or anything. I took a picture of it and I used it on my tablet so um, there's no markings in it. Um, but yeah, if you want to win that, please leave a comment with the word Blackbird below and I will draw it. Um, I'm going to be filming this Friday, but I'm, I won't draw the winner this Friday because I want to give people some time. So yeah, I'll draw it next Friday when I film again. Um, so you have until then to enter. But there we go. Okay, then after that, I moved on to... The last whip that I worked on this month, which was another one that had, um, didn't have a ton of stitches left to go, so I was trying to get it close to a finish. Did not get a finish on it, but I did get some good progress in. So this is, I've been calling it Hen, but I think the actual name is Friends for Spring by Chrisetta Gogo. Uh, the name will be in the bottom, the actual name will be along the bottom here, but I think it's called Friends for Spring by Chrisetta Gogo. I've just been calling it Hen. Um, I'll show you a picture of what the finished piece will look like and then what it looked like the last time you saw it. And I have done 534 stitches on it. So this is where I'm at now. And it's really cute. I'm enjoying stitching on it. I'm doing it on a 36 count Edinburgh linen in natural. So as you can probably tell, 36 count natural and flax are two of my favorite fabrics to stitch on. I'm sitting at 37.62% done. So, there we go. So 
those are all the whips and finishes that I've had in April. Um, so what were my goals? We talked about this last time. So Fancy and ABC was one of my whip go goals, which I decided I'm not, I'm probably going to restart it at some point on different fabric. Um, so I put that one away. I only did 400 stitches on it. All Creatures Great and Small by Barbara Anna I already completed and I showed it in my last video. I completed the goal, not completed the pattern, completed the goal of 1,500 stitches. I showed that in my last video. Um, 2,600 stitches on, no, 2,700 stitches on Beyond Venue by Long Dog Samplers, which is the birth sampler. So that was completed and these were just extra stitches that I did. And then the goal was um, 5,600 stitches on my Hade cell, which I only did 3,000. So that's the only goal that I have to like carry forward to next month. Um, other than that, I did complete my goals for this month. So May, um, Mania starts today. I am going to be participating in Mania. I'm doing 31 new starts. So one, a new start every day for the month of May. Um, and the way I'm going to do this, so I have all my projects picked out um i'm not going to show them all because i'll just show them as i'm as i as i get pulled but basically what i'm going to do what i'm doing is i've put them all on a wheel on my phone and i'm going to be i'm going to spin the wheel every day and that will be the project that i start for that day and i'll see how much i can get done on it that day so um i'm going to insert a video right here this is the one that i spun for today so as you can see, I ended up getting a uh, pumpkin color autumn by Owl Forest Embroidery. So this is the piece that I'm going to start working on today. And my plan is to film a video every Friday this month, and I will show you the progress on what I've worked on that week. So this Friday will be a shorter video because it will only be for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, actually just Wednesday, Thursday, because I film Friday morning. So Wednesday, Thursday, so there'll only be two projects that I'll be showing you. Um, but then the next Friday, I'll show you the projects for that whole week. What I what was spun and what I worked on. Um, beyond that, I still have goals for May. So it'll be a busy stitching month, but I, I'm not like, I'm not strict on these goals because I'm doing mania. I know that I may not get some of these goals done, which is fine. Um, so the first one, and it just so happened that Whipgo picked number 13. And when 13 gets picked, you get three numbers that month. So of course it happened to be during May. So the first Whipgo goal was trimming the tree, 1500 stitches. So you'll see that one again um next video next update whenever i do an update of my other projects so trimming the tree 1500 stitches i also pulled um before i sleep from long dog samplers um i'm just going to insert a picture of where it was during my wet parade um but i need to get 1500 stitches on that as well and then my number 13 was a new start 1500 stitches on a new start um so I don't know if I'm going to count one of my mania starts or if I'm going to have like an additional new start for Whipgo 13. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, then, of course, I have my birth sampler for 2,700 stitches for this month. I am ahead from last month, so if I don't get the full 2,700 stitches, that's fine because I did like well over 3,000 last month. And then the Heaven and Earth Design Cell, 5,600 stitches next month plus i have an extra 2600 stitches that i need to catch up on from april so those are the goals for may um and i'm also planning i think i'm planning to keep this one as my daily 100 um so that i can try and get closer to a finish on it it's not a huge project and it's been going pretty quickly so I feel if I keep doing my 100 stitches a day on this, I may be able to have another finish by the end of May. So that will be my plans for this month. So um, I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, 
I don't really, yeah, that's all I have to talk about today. Thank you so much to everybody who has liked and subscribed. Um, I really appreciate all the support. If you do enjoy my videos and you want to see more of them, please just hit the like button and hit the subscribe button below. And I am so grateful for you all. Thank you so much. Bye.